So hey there, welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm in actually Little Italy here in San Diego, California. And it's one of my favorite stops when I'm back home. And I've done uh, several videos down here before. And this is the first time that I've visited since my uh, long trip to uh, Southeast Asia. And it's good to be here. Now this is India Street, which uh, runs east to west. And I'm probably about a quarter mile away from actual Date Street where they have the weekly farmer's market. And I, put, I took Saturday because it's one of the better days to uh, visit. And you can see in the distance there is San Diego Bay. And look at all these uh, Italian flags. And I'm gonna point out some of the uh, areas on my little walk. It gets a little bit noisy because this is the final approach for many aircraft coming into uh, San Diego International Airport. So, time to get going and uh, see. Little yeah. Now, one thing about parking down here, especially on a Saturday, it can be really challenging. But what I find the best place to park is west of India and that's where I'm at right now uh, there's a number of uh, parking spots available um, all of its paid parking but when you start getting up more east toward Date Street it gets a little difficult to uh, find a place to park and one thing about Little Italy kind of give you a little bit of a history of it it was actually uh, discovered in the uh, early 1900s uh, by Portuguese and uh, Italian immigrants. And it's got a huge uh, tuna industry uh, back in the day. So very interesting. They have a lot of uh, nice little bars, breweries. There's one across the street called the uh, Ballast Point. Uh, brewery and I'll point some others out along this painting you can see uh, got a little uh, airplane up there with an Italian flag kind of cool it's like right outside these condominiums I mean just look at these houses along here and you can tell very historic area and uh, right across the street coming up is a place called the uh, Mona Lisa Mona Lisa that is a really good place to get fine Italian sandwiches deli sandwiches and anything Italian you can find right in there I've been in there a few times looks like they have a, a little restaurant on the side I've never actually ate in there, but uh, I wouldn't mind going there for a stop. I mean, look at these houses. You can tell. This definitely dates back to, I would say, early 1900s. And looks like they've turned them into uh, salons. They got a, a psychic reader up there, tarot card. Interesting, there's a skeleton sitting on the top deck up there. So this major intersection here at uh, Grape Street, near the uh, ships down there, this is the, uh, known as the Bolt Brewery. How nice is that? Kind of uh, outside. See how you can even see how the uh, traffic is on a day like this. These are some of the uh, little uh, eateries on the way. That place is called the uh, Barbusa. And we're coming up to uh, a sign. I'm going to show you what's going on. <laughs> Just to show you where I am at.
and Little Italy is actually really big. So I am down here coming up to the uh, sign and uh, this is uh, India Street running east to west and uh, coming up to Date Street which is uh, where the major market goes back and forth and you can see where the uh, San Diego Bay is over here and then Interstate 5 so and then right there in the distance is the little sign official little sign now this is Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone, recipient of the Medal of Honor, Navy Cross, and Purple Heart. And uh, he's honored here at uh, Little Italy at this uh, little place called the uh, Civico. And this is uh, kind of like a little mural or memorial for him of all the uh, folks here that served in uh, various wars and this is his actual citation Gunnery Sergeant John Basilo November 4 1916 to February 16 1945 was one of the first enlisted Marines to be awarded the Medal of Honor. He's also awarded the Navy Cross. So, how cool is this to see this? And you can see how uh, tight they are on these uh, little Italian restaurants. And there's so many of up and down the street. You got, if you're looking for really good pizza, come down here, I'm telling you you will find it. Authentic Italian pizza. Oh, Look at these little houses on the side again. The entrance to Little Italy. Well, actually I'm in it right now, but that's the uh, official sign. Now if you want to get a uh, Instagram photo on this big chair, you can do that. And uh, you're going to see why. This is the largest Little Italy in the United States. You know, it's not even noon yet, and uh, look how busy it is. You know, it's summertime, so really popular place to come. But coming up to the iconic Date Street where they have the uh, weekly farmer's market. Keeping everybody safe. They have these uh, traffic guides on all the streets. This is kind of the uh, the main central area. I just love that little sign. Kind of makes you feel like you're actually in Italy, believe it or not. I've been there a few times. It's got such a uh, festive atmosphere down here. It's unbelievable. And if you come down here on a Saturday, you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, you just walk around and it's absolutely incredible feeling. I think I'm going to take a wander up the market area and check it out. You can see all the other little restaurants down on the uh, east side. And this is kind of a, a part of the market. Now, a little warning. Uh, one thing about these markets is this is more or less a tourist area, believe it or not. It's not 
something you normally come down to do your uh, weekly shopping, believe me. But I think everything around here is all uh, organic. I mean, look at that. Let me give you an idea. And you can find just about all types of fruits and vegetables down here. I just kind of like wandering around. Again, it's just uh, one of the most festive places you can go in San Diego. Look at these cherries. Two bags for 10 bucks. So I guess that's what the bag looks like. One of my favorite fountains right here. Crossing Columbia Street and a lot more, believe me. Look at these avocados. They look big. Look at all the folks. Look at all the vendors. I think if you want to be a vendor down here, you just come down and register. There's a area up front. And then you just can uh, get yourself a setup. Yeah, fresh honey. Yeah, we only have like What I like about coming down here is because everything that's sold down here is, I would call like mom and pops. Businesses that have uh, been around for quite a number of years and new businesses that are trying to get started. So, kind of uh, helps out the uh, local business considerably. And this is our Lady of Rosary, a historic Catholic church here on State Street. Kind of take a look here. And it is a historical monument dedicated December 20th, 1925. How about that? visit into Our Lady of the Rosary. So crossing uh, State Street and looks like this part has uh, a lot of uh, food vendors in it. Of course every time I say that I run into more of them. That's kind of the uh, whole procedure with how he puts it together. Makes the crate. A little sauce action. How about that? The uh, final outcome. Back on the uh, crate. So circle back. I got that technique down. 
So that was pretty neat, seeing those uh, artesian yeah. crepes made. You can see by the uh, small houses here, it's got that very unique historical perspective of this uh, whole place. I mean, you simply don't find houses like this anymore. These little bulldog. Now inside the Little Italy food hall. Let's go see what's inside here. I think you got a uh, big selection. Coco's Nest. Not not tacos. Ah, you got an Asian kitchen. So it kind of gives you uh, a little bit of a sample. Not everything is Italian. It's called uh, Sam Burgers. How festive is this? So a little sneak peek in here. Back outside. So you know, this is on the uh, other side. Coming down back to the uh, south, actually. I did north up Date Street, and now I'm heading to the opposite direction. Look at that line to go inside that restaurant. I mean, the line is out there. But look at it. I think it goes all the way out to here. Oh my gosh. Look at the dining though. I mean... I've never eaten in there, but man, it looks really good. Look at that bread. That is some nice Italian bread. So this is a little bit going south on Date Street from India. So you'll see how far this kind of stretches out. Still have to uh, go see some other parts of our little Italy. This is Kettner. This is kind of like the uh, final Little area here on uh, Date Street. I like the one. Look at that. What is that? This one's called a product of Thailand. They got over here. Coconut Sunday. So how neat is that? Let's see. What can you get here? Mango with sticky rice. And that's it right there. You can find Thailand desserts here. I'm sure the Thai food. That's the closest I found. I'm gonna make my way back to uh, India Street and uh, check out some of these other areas. So we're going to walk a little bit east on India Street and I'm on the uh, south side. You see these uh, little restaurants. This one's called the uh, Parakeet. I think it's more of a drink place, if anything. It's called the uh, Salt and Straw. A lot of uh, nice little outside dining areas. How neat is this place? Look at the inside of here. Well, the Iron Gate, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
kind of a cool street to walk down, at least today. See, I'm just passing Cedar. And now I'm looking up at the, uh, oh, that must be the uh, Mexican consulate up there. Okay, this is called the uh, Little Italy Bar One. All right. I didn't realize how far these areas stretched out. How neat is this? I don't think I've even been this far. Look at these uh, condominiums up there. You can live right on India, right here in Little Italy. I have no idea how much you're going to pay, but probably not cheap. But you can really see how well developed it is down here just by looking at these condominiums. Now that is the uh, the trolley, Old Town trolley, and that is a really nice thing to use if you want to see a lot of San Diego in a short period of time. I've actually made a video on that, and it's pretty cool. If you're only in San Diego for let's say a couple days, that's a really good way to go, and you will see almost 10 different areas. Uh, here in San Diego and you can literally spend as much time at the stop so this is one of the stops so you can get off that trolley and then just kind of wander around here and then wait for the next one to come around and I think they stop running they start running like 10 a.m. and then they stop around 6 or 7 maybe they go a little bit longer in the summertime I'm not really sure so I'm back up to uh, Date Street but still gonna continue west up India. If you want to know all about this little market, you just come here. It's actually dedicated in August 2nd, 2018. So just to give you a little history again, early 1900s, Italian immigrants were drawn to California for the climate, geographical similarity to their homeland and promising opportunities America had in store for them and their families. San Diego became a heaven for those immigrants who came from all regions of Italy passing through New York, Chicago, San Francisco and other landmark cities to follow the American dream. You can even get a uh, little Italy merchandise. Keep making my way to the west. This is the, again, the busiest part of this uh, area of little Italy. Wow, those, this food looks good. <coughs> so, heading back. And making my... I'm going to do a little bit of an inside tour of the uh, Mona Lisa. And uh, give you an idea what's inside. So, let's go check it out. As you come inside, you can see how popular this place is. Look at all these uh, Italian wines you can get. See everything Italian in here, believe me. Very crowded on the inside. 
So almost back to my parking and time to make it back in this video and my adventure down here in Little Italy which has been a lot of fun to come down and uh, kind of see it again seen it a number of times but always a lot of fun so see you later